director of the Hadley Senior Center. We are in a temporary location right now and we plan to be here until probably May um, of 2020 when we hope to move into our new building. Here's a floor plan of that. We're very excited and I'll share some more information about that. Right now we're at 120 Russell Street, which is um, the most Holy Redeemer Church campus and we're in Parish Hall. And I want to assure everyone that we have a full suite of programs, classes, activities, meals, Many things are happening here all the time. We haven't really had to slow down at all to accommodate this, this change and transition. Um, and, but we're looking forward to enhancing and um, diversifying what we have to offer when we're in the new space, which we hope will be the very beginning of May. And you might want to save the date. We have um, tentatively reserved um, May 14th through 17th as a series of grand opening events that will be in an open house style with lots of things including recording oral histories, um, uh, a potluck meal, um, walk-in art classes, slideshows, all kinds of things that will really highlight the strengths of Hadley and our Hadley community. Um, I want to just bring some attention to our, our newsletter which comes out every other month and I'm hoping that every person over 60 and over in Hadley is either receiving this in the mail or getting it via email or um, just simply accessing it on our website. Our website is part of the town website, um, hadleyma.org. Um, look for the Council on Aging and every everything we've got going on is, is there and it's a really great resource if you have an opportunity to check it out. Um, but this, this newsletter is really the place to go to see um, everything that's happening here, including things like we have a congregate meal here every day, Highland Valley Elder Services delivers um, a hot, nutritious meal here on a daily basis. And two days a week, um, a woman named Nora Meyer cooks a beautiful homemade meal called Nora's Lunchbox. That's very popular and it does require some pre-registration and thinking ahead, but it's I highly recommend it. You can't beat it for $3. Um, just a little note on the building, I think I mentioned that we're hoping to be in there in May. The, the exterior is built, um, the interior is being finished, all the major systems are in place, they're, they're hanging sheetrock now, they're um, finishing up the electrical system and, and everything and it's really very exciting. We've had an opportunity to have a couple of walkthroughs and we, can't, we couldn't be more thrilled um, for the community to have access to this place. I want to talk a little bit about outreach services. We have a wonderful outreach coordinator named Lauren Hannigan, and she is here um, five days a week from 9 to 2. She helps people apply for various public benefits. That's her chief role, and she also is the coordinator of our transportation system. We have Monday, Wednesday, Friday van service from 9 to 2. We hope to expand that um, to, to a five-day-a-week service um, a little later in February. Um, but Lauren helps people with SNAP applications, fuel assistance applications, mass health, um, and really kind of anything that anything that comes up that you think you could use sort of a social worker kind of background to to help you through some sort of bureaucratic problem. Lauren's a great resource for you. Um, I'm a Shine counselor, and I've been also um, providing Shine appointments um, as needed to our community. Um, and so I'm helping people who are on Medicare with various um, enrollments, you know, comparing plans, um, people who are going to retire and going to enroll in Medicare and are curious about what Medicare does and doesn't cover, I'm a person who you can talk to about that and I'm happy to make appointments. Um, you can call me directly here and um, I'll schedule an appointment to talk to you about all the things that go on with Medicare. I want to now mention a housing rehab program that um, the town of Hadley, in partnership with the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, is hoping to get a grant for to support um, the rehabilitation of major systems and houses that could use um, major systems updates like roofs and electrical systems or ha um, the removal of hazardous materials. Um, the, the home page of the Hadley, um, town of Hadley website has has a lot. It has a has a link to a recorded presentation by the pr the pr project manager of this whole um, grant opportunity, and it also has a link to an interest form that I would encourage anyone to to fill out who thinks that they might be interested in having a no interest loan that will be forgiven after 15 years to do up to potentially forty thousand dollars worth of work on your house. Um, it, it's an income eligibility um, criteria. Um, 
the maximum household income for an eligible person um, in a one-person household is $49,700. Um, the maximum income for a two-person household is $56,800. Um, but so th th those those are important things to, to realize before you bother to fill this out. But if you this there's a link to this on the website. Um, if you if you fill this out and submit it to the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, it will really help enhance their chances of Hadley getting this grant because they'll be able to demonstrate that the interest is high, and it'll also put you on the waiting list to have your house worked. Okay, I'm going to mention a couple other monthly programs that we have. There are many things that we do that are on an ongoing basis. For example, every Wednesday at 2 o'clock, um, the veterans agent for this town, Tom Garrick, is here have, with office hours from 2 until the end of our work day at 4. Um, and he is available on a walk-in basis, although I think if you want to make an appointment with him to just ensure that he's going to be available when you want to talk to him, you can call the um, veteran services in Northampton and make an appointment with him. Um, and he can he can help you assess your eligibility for any veterans benefits that could be really helpful to you. We have a foot care nurse who comes in here once a week and takes appointments and, um, and helps people with foot care. We have Tai Chi. Um, you know, weekly fitness classes include Tai Chi, line dancing, healthy bones and balance, um, yoga, you know, any number of things are, are happening here, you know, on a daily basis, and I encourage you to, to look at the calendar um, or to just call and, and find out what's happening and, and you know, see what you might want to um, attend and be a part of. We're always looking for greater participation and, you know, welcome new faces.